Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new Hi. here, my name is Seppi and this is Sol. And Hello. she's being bitchy because I was saying that this lighting is making my head look so big. And she said the lighting just reveals the truth. So you're actually being a biatch, Sol. Uh, <laughs> um, today is Siz de Bedar, guys. So for my non Persian followers, I'm going to explain what that means. Siz de Bedar means the 13th day after the Iranian New Year, where we um, basically have to leave the house and we also have to throw out our sabzi from our table, which is called the half scene. Our sabzi is like the green plant thing that we grow. So, um, elaborate, Seppi, on leaving the house. So, you have to leave your house and go to somewhere green. Right? Am I right? That's Is it somewhere it. green? Um, so a park, a yeah. beach. So well, the beach isn't really. Green, yeah. So. so you have to like leave your house basically, and obviously we're still in lockdown, but we're allowed to like go to parks and stuff. So Sol and I are going to buy some picnic stuff so that we can have a little picnic with our family in the park for Sis de Bedar. Um, so yeah, that's quite cool. Also, I feel like this lighting is so bad that you guys can't be enjoying this. Um, so I will come back when the lighting is better. I think we are the most overdressed in Waitrose right now. But it is what it is. <laughs> and we don't even know what we want. And on top of being overdressed, I'm holding a camera. So the audacity right now <laughs> is a bit funny. <laughs> but, oh well. Okay. Let's get to that middle bit. For anyone who is looking for them, Waitrose and Finchley Central has little things. <laughs> So we're struggling, we don't really know what to buy and we've only bought a few like little snack pieces so we're gonna need to go to M&S now maybe get some sandwiches or something. We'll see. Also, so look how much better I look in this lighting, come on, at the start of the vlog I looked hideous guys, don't judge me by that start. <laughs> oh my god he's got... Ah, eh, 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 ninja! So we're having our picnic. My dog's become a bit senile because he doesn't he doesn't recognise Sina at all. And today he almost bit me today. So we don't really know what's going on. To hold him back. Yeah. What are these? This is our season with our little picnic it's very very cute i've made some aubergine parmigiana which is also in the oven it's coming out but um, we've eaten half of it already um Sina and my mum and uh, and dad are not really a fan sol and i are quite fans i think it's a cute idea yes it's a very good idea i love it just it's a little bit cold why are you just wearing a cardigan no, I'm the rest of us like um i'm in a hoodie you know yeah. i'm keeping it warm but i don't know this dog is actually not okay. <laughs> so this is the aubergine parmigiana that I made. We moved inside because everyone was too cold. <laughs> so we brought the rest of our snacks in. But um, yeah, I just pretty much made it up. Um, I looked at a recipe online for inspo, but most of the stuff I added in wasn't on the recipe, like breadcrumb and cheese topping and stuff. So yeah. So I have just finished filming a video with Sol um, and also filmed one on her channel as well and then we're going to have dinner soon, it's 7.30pm so I would say it's definitely time for dinner so that I can work out, oh the lighting is better like that, so that I can work out soon and just like have a productive day. I've done two workouts so far this week and today is Friday so if I do Today, hopefully at least one more day than I would have done four. I hope I do all of the weekend so that I've done five workouts this week, then I'll feel really good. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to be quite like productive and um, gonna do some like work related stuff in regards to like medicine as well. Um, after I've done, after I've had dinner, I'm gonna do that work stuff just to give myself some time to digest, then do my workout. Um, so that is my plan for the evening. But in the meantime, I was just watching a video on YouTube by Refinery29. Um, let me tell you the name of it now, guys. It is called Five Women Entrepreneurs Share Their Secret to Success. And I found this video so 
enlightening. Um, I'll tell you guys the gist of it, but I'd heard all of it before from my friend, one of my best friends, Mickey. Her dad always tells her like really great stuff and then she comes and tells us what her dad told her and then I end up learning it. Basically what the video is trying to say is that women are five times less likely to ask um, for like a pay rise or for funding for their business ideas um, or just basically the money that they deserve um, as compared to men like men like the lady was like I who worked in finance who was in this video was saying like I've seen a lot of men with like really mediocre business ideas have a lot of like courage to ask people for money for investment whereas women will have excellent ideas and not have the courage to ask for funding for their businesses and stuff and it's also about going to the right people obviously and like knowing who to ask for for money but it's true like as women like we need to have a lot more confidence in asking people um to pay us what we're worth just wanted to hop on here and tell my viewers i know a lot of you are uh, i'm so lucky that i have a lot of men and women watching um but for my women watching i want you guys to know that you're so worthy and like knowing our worth is so important in this generation so don't be afraid to ask seize the day basically what was it carpe diem probably like butchered that pronunciation but seize the day ask people to pay you what you're worth if you think that other people are getting paid more for what you're doing don't be afraid to ask if you have a great business idea you've you've carried it out to some extent and then now you're looking for investors don't be afraid to ask so i just want to hop on here and share that with you and share the kind of things that i kind of look into when I'm not doing YouTube and other fun stuff um so yeah uh, any other ideas and thoughts on that then please let me know in the comment section and if you want me to talk about more stuff like this then also please do let me know in the comments so we just ordered some cello kebab there's a new Iranian restaurant in the area the old one we used to order from I don't like anymore their food's gone a bit downhill which is a shame but this new one actually looks really good um, it's really good. Yeah, it looks really nice. Look, look at the bark. I want to show it to you how lovely is chicken and how lovely is bark. Mm. So today is Tuesday. <laughs> um, I actually had the funniest day yesterday. So I thought that I was off yesterday and I was on call this evening. And it turns out that I was on call yesterday and off today. But I got so lucky because someone texted me and said, Hey Seppi, because you're on call on a bank holiday, you actually went to come in at one, not at five. So had it not been for a bank holiday, I basically would have not missed my shift because they'd call you and tell you to come in, but it would have been late to my shift. So I got so lucky. You lost your day off. No, because today is my day off instead. Oh. <laughs> no, another day off. No, it? I thought I would be working today. Ah. So it balanced out. So anyway, my mum and I are now going to the hospital because today is my last day on acute medicine. So I want to go and drop some chocolates off to some of the staff members who have been so helpful to me. And um, yeah, I just had breakfast and it got changed. I ordered a whole new bunch of clothes from H&M. So I'm going to film a H&M haul for you guys when I get home. Um, and I'm also going to upload this vlog. So... Sorry, my mum is packing up a return for me. But yeah, you guys are going to get a sneak peek now of what is to come in my H&M haul because I'm wearing some of it. So here we go. I'm wearing this cropped racer top and these denim jeans. And mum, you're in my camera. Sorry. <laughs> and these denim jeans. And they are both from H&M Spring Collection. And I've paired it with a nude blazer. Hold on, let me show you. This is the blazer. Um, it oh, is wow. quite old, it's from Pretty Little Thing, I think like last year um, or a year and a bit ago. But I think they might stock it still because it's one of those like classic ones. But yeah, this is just what I'm wearing and I'm going to pair it with um, white Yeezys. So I think this will look quite cute together. On! Mum, show everyone what you're wearing. I am wearing this top from Marks and Spencer. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> yes, and my trousers from Next and, and my hair from me. 
<laughs> we're excited to go and drop these off. I've just taken antihistamine. If you think I sound stuffy, it's not because I've got a cold. It's because hay fever season is truly upon us, guys. Also, uh, update of all the stuff that I bought in the last vlog. I'm loving the Drunk Elephant skincare. And the Huda Beauty brow pencil is quite good, quite pigmented. I really like it. Um, I would recommend it for sure. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything that I haven't liked that I've tried so far. I love the Laura Mercier primer. I think that's my favourite thing that I've bought. Um, but the La La Retro Whipped Cream is also really good. I don't know. Either the La La Retro Whipped Cream is my favourite or the Laura Mercier Blurring Primer. But I'm really happy with all the stuff that I got. So I thought I'd give you an update because it's annoying when in one vlog people tell you that they're going to tell you how they found the products. And then they don't let you know. So... If you don't know what I'm on about, go and watch the previous vlog. So we dropped off the um, chocos and we are coming back home now. It's been an absolute nightmare for us to try and find a post office that doesn't have a very long queue. How bad, Mum? Oh, it was really nice. Honestly, like we haven't dropped off my parcel, which I really need to do, by the way. Just because I think it was Easter holiday and everywhere was closed and now it's first day, all of them, they are open. That's why it's happened like that. Yeah, maybe. But I need yes. to drop this parcel off today. Yes, but so. I'm going later on. Yeah, so it's been Probably an absolute... we go together. Yeah, but I'm excited for everything to open up because this way post offices and stuff like that will be less busy. So we only have um, five, six days until everything opens back up. Um, so we're so excited. I already have a reservation to go out. I think my mum and dad will want to go out too now. Yes, of course. But it's very but cold. But still the there. But you can go to like Brent Cross. Brent Cross? Brand Cross is something normal, we're going all the time. But now it's shut, it's four months, it's shut. So, I thought I would end this vlog by doing an unboxing of something really special that I bought myself. Um, there wasn't really an occasion for it, other than I just feel like I've been working quite hard. And I think if you really want something and you've been working hard for it, and you can afford to splurge on it, then why not? And who better to give for than for yourself, right? So here we are. It is a new pair of Christian Louboutin boots. Um, I love Christian Louboutin shoes. If you guys are ever looking for a designer pair of heels uh, or shoes to invest in, I think that Louboutin has the nicest designs and they're so unique. And I think even if you get like a special piece, let's say five years ago, it will still be special now. Like it, it never ever goes out of fashion. And I think a lot of shoe designers, they try and recreate what Louboutin manages to do like it's not even about his magical red soles that are so infamous but just like the creations themselves and even his simple pieces which I think are a great investment are like so elegant and then the red sole is there just to jazz it up so it's quite cold here in London still so that's why I thought that this would be quite an appropriate item to buy it's a classic piece that I can literally just use whenever um, and have for years, provided I take good care of them. Uh, I've had a lot of my Louis Vuitton for like five plus years and they're all still in great condition. Um, apart from one pair which one of my friends kind of ruined, but it's fine, like you, I can still get that repaired. So I take good care of my shoes and you guys should too if you're gonna invest in a nice pair of shoes. But here we go, this is what is inside the box? Um, I'm so excited. It is my first pair of boots from the Bouton. I don't have any boots at all, so I thought I would start off with a simple black leather pair. These ones are, I'm trying to think of the heel height. These ones are 100 millimeters in heel height, and they are just so stunning. They're like this really nice, creamy caviar kind of leather. And they literally just put onto your leg like a sock. They're so comfortable, so classy, so chic and unique. And I just like that they're quite fitted, like at the top. Um, the whole sock version of it makes it really good. And I think that they're so easy to pair with absolutely anything. And I also think that like you can wear them even in summer with like Daisy Duke denim shorts and these boots if you wanted to. But throughout winter, I don't, I can't think of a single outfit that you cannot pair these with. Whether you want to pair it with a dress or you want to pair it with 
jeans or you want to pair it with trousers i just think they're so stunning and from every angle you can kind of see those those beautiful red soles and even if you couldn't see the red soles i think you could just tell they're very nicely made and just so chic and elegant so i absolutely love them and i'm so glad that i got them for myself so woo woo um also another thing that's kind of been playing on my mind recently that i was thinking about the other day when i went for a walk that i wanted to talk to you guys about was i've been in my previous vlog as well i bought like a bunch of makeup and like skincare and stuff and they were all quite pricey stuff and i know that this is something pricey as well and i know that i do a mix on my channel and i do do um kind of high-end stuff and then i do like street stuff and i know that i try and mix it up and just keep as genuine and authentic as i can to myself but i think the main thing that i wanted to say was if you're watching this and you can't afford some of the things that i buy or any of the things that i buy I just don't want you to feel bad because I remember there was a lot of times when I was younger as well and I didn't have like my own like income or anything and I couldn't afford to buy myself a lot of these things unless I went and asked my parents and I was like quite a shy kid I didn't like to go and like ask my parents for money all the time but I can fully like empathize and and understand like there might be things that you see like a youtuber buy and you can't afford it i would never ever want to do something to make someone feel like you need to have this or you need to have these pair of designer shoes or you need to have this skincare or you need to have this sort of makeup like honestly there's a reason why they call some things dupes like as in they're just as good or they look just the same so um, yeah, that's like kind of my message and um, I hope that if you do want something like this and you can't afford it yet My my main takeaway is I hope that you kind of use it as inspo and motivation um, Which what is what I used to do before I could afford to buy myself luxury stuff um, So I love you guys so so much um, I hope that made sense. I'm sorry. I know I tend to ramble when I try and explain myself um, But I love you all so much and I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog If you did then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up that will go so far for me It means so much to me um, And subscribe to my channel down below here for more videos Let me know what you want to see from me Obviously I'm filming a H&M haul and loads of you guys have said you've missed my hauls So that is coming up next But whatever whatever else you have in mind I've done a challenge with Sol which was quite funny in my previous video if you want to check that out um but yeah let me know don't forget to check out my socials they're always linked in the description my instagram is persian bunny my tiktok is persian underscore bunny and my snapchat is sepi samai i love you guys so much and i'll see you next time bye